I am Anil Kumar and here is part 2 of trigonometry where we will discuss double and half angle formulas. In part 2 we will relate double and half angle formulas and these are few questions which we will try to attempt. We will prove tan 2x is 2 tan x over 1 minus tan square x, sin 2x is 2 tan x over 1 plus tan square x and cos 2x equals to 1 minus tan square x over 1 plus tan square x. In part 1, we didn't really take any examples on tan 2x. Now here, we'll begin by relating tan 2x with sin 2x and cos 2x. Now we'll also develop half angle formulas for sin, cos and tan. And we'll have a bonus question which is square root of 2 plus square root of 2 plus square root of 2 plus 2 cos 8x is equal to 2 cosine x when x is between 0 to pi by 8. So let me just remind you, in part 1, we began with uh, compound angle formula, sin A plus P and uh, cos A plus P. As you know, sin A plus P or minus P could be written as sin A cos P. If it is plus, eh, then it's plus and minus cos A sin B. And cos A plus P is cos A cos p minus plus sin a sin b correct and from there we did develop double angle formulas uh, for uh, let me write down let me write down sin 2a as 2 sin a cos a and I'll write uh, cos 2a here. Cos 2a could be written as cos square a minus sine square a. And if you write in terms of cosine, you could write this as 2 cos square a minus 1. If you write in terms of sine, it could be written as 1 minus 2 sine square a, right? So basically, this is what we did in part 1. And now we'll begin from here and uh, prove all the identities and formulas which we have on this sheet. So let's begin with the tan 2x. Now uh, tan a plus b formula as you know is uh, is tan, let me write down, a plus b is equal to tan a plus tan b over 1 minus tan a tan b so as we did for sine and cosine, we can now substitute b as equals to a. So if I substitute b equals to a, in that case, what do we get? We get tan a plus a equals to tan a plus tan a over 1 minus tan a times tan a, correct? And clearly, it is tan 2a equals to 2 tan a over 1 minus tan square a, right? You will always replace a with x and get that formula. It does make sense to you, correct? So that's what we will do for now. And let's see the next page where we'll try to relate cos 2x with tan x. See, here we have 2x, there we have x. So it's kind of a half of that, correct? So the question for you is to relate sine 2x with tan x. So let's begin with what sine 2x is. So in part 1, we proved that sine 2x is 2 sine x cos x, right? Now, you could always write this as 2 sin x cos x divided by 1 is same thing, right? And what you know is sin square x plus cos square x is equal to 1. So we can replace this 1 with sin square x plus cos square x. So I could write this as 2 sin x cos x over sine square x plus cos square x, correct? 
Now, we'll divide both numerator and denominator by cos square x. So what we'll do now here is, we'll divide the first expression. So let me rewrite what I'm trying to say here. So we'll do this. We'll do 2 sin x cos x divided by cos square x and also the denominator which is sin square x plus cos square x by cos square x, correct? Now, as soon as you do that, you notice that one of these cos will cancel and here we have sin square x over cos square x and cos square x plus over cos square x is 1. So, what we get here is in the numerator, I get 2 sin x over cos x, correct? And in the denominator, let me write it in two steps. I will write this as sin square x over cos square x plus cos square x over cos square x, correct? Now, let me take this to the right side and solve it further. So, we can now write sin 2x as equal to, so we have 2 sin x over cos x, which is tan x, correct? So, I'm writing numerator as 2 tan x over sin square x over cos square x is tan square x plus 1. So, that is what we wanted to prove, right? So, I hope that is absolutely clear it could be written this way also which is 2 tan x over 1 plus tan square x okay now same method will be applied similar method i should say when we want to prove that cos 2x is equals to 1 minus tan square x divided by 1 plus tan square x so you can actually pause the video answer this question and then look into my suggestions, right? So, what is cos 2x? So, we know cos 2x could be written as cos square x minus sine square x. This is what we learned in part 1. Now, we could divide it by 1. That is to say, cos square x minus sine square x over 1. And that really means I could replace 1 with sum of cos square and sin square x, correct? So, we could write this as cos square x plus sin square x. And the strategy is exactly the same. We are going to divide both by cos square x. That is to say, we have cos square x minus sin square x in the numerator. We'll divide both by cos square x. Similarly, in the denominator, we have cos square x plus sin square x. We'll divide that by cos square x. Does it make sense to you? Correct? Now, let's open the bracket. So, cos square x divided by cos square x is 1 minus sin square x over cos square x is tan square x over. When you open this bracket, cos square x divided by cos square x is 1 and sin square x over cos square x is plus tan square x. So, that is the right side. Is it okay? So, that is how you can actually prove it. So, let's take up the next question here, where we are going to find the half angle formula. So, we are going to find what is sine alpha by 2 equals 2. Now, sine alpha by 2 is equal to plus minus square root of this. Let us see how to prove it. We actually begin with double angle formula for cosine. So, as you know, we could write uh, cos 2a. Let me begin with cos 2a. It could be written as cos square a minus sine square a. We have three formulas here, right? Since I'm interested in sine, I could write this as 1 minus 2 sine square a, correct? So, we'll begin with this formula and try to prove uh, or find a formula for half angle, right? So, the equation is, let me just change the pen now. So, we want what sin a, a is half of 2a. Do you see that? Let me rewrite this. So, we have cos 2a equals to 1 minus 2 
sine square a bringing this turn to left we get sine square a two times is equals to 1 minus cos 2a correct and dividing by 2 we get sine square a equals to 1 minus cos 2a divided by 2 this is square so we can do square root so sine a is square root of 1 minus cos 2a divided by 2 whenever you do square root you have to do plus or minus so sine a could be positive or negative it really depends on in which quadrant you are right now i can make a substitution right so if i say if 2a equals to alpha a equals to alpha by 2 and so i get sine alpha by 2 equals to plus minus square root of 1 minus cos alpha over 2 does it make sense to you so that is how you derive the half angle formula so this is called half angle formula right so now we'll again derive half angle formula but this time it'd be for cosine so as you guessed it right we could start with cos square a equals to 2 cos square a minus 1 correct let's rearrange this so we get 2 cos square a equals to when it comes to this side 1 plus cos square a dividing by 2 we get cos square a equals to 1 plus uh, I'm sorry I made a mistake here this is cos 2a cos 2a right so cos 2a is 2 cos square a minus 1 so rearranging 2 cos square a is 1 plus cos 2a right now this is a very important formula which I'll soon use so just let me highlight it for the time being I'm going to use in one of our bonus questions okay now uh, okay this was two times right two times now dividing by 2 we get cos square a equals to 1 plus cos 2a divided by 2 or we could write this as cos a equals to plus minus square root of 1 plus cos 2a divided by 2 right now if I make the substitution that is 2a equals to alpha then a equals to alpha by 2 so we get half angle formula so we have cos alpha by 2 equals to plus minus square root of 1 plus cos alpha over 2 correct so that is how this half angle formula for cosine can be derived and now we have half angle formula for tan okay so what did we do in previous two earlier we said what is sine alpha by 2 equals to can you recall it should be plus minus here and what is cos alpha by 2 equals to well sine alpha by 2 is plus minus square root of 1 minus cos alpha over 2 right and cosine alpha by 2 is 1 plus cos alpha by 2 and tan alpha by 2 clearly is ratio of sine and cosine correct so what do we get we get this over that right so what we get here is square root of 1 minus cos alpha by 2 over square root of 1 plus cos alpha by 2 2 is the common denominator both plus minus right now 2 and 2 cancel and what do we get so we get our formula which we are looking for tan alpha by 2 half angle formula for tan which is plus minus square root of 1 minus cos alpha over 1 plus cos alpha okay so it's not very difficult i'd like you to go through this video once again just to recall how we derived this and here is the bonus question for you so now you can take your time to solve this question and then look into my suggestions so to solve this question let's begin from the left side which is quite complicated we have square root of let's rewrite uh, 
okay two plus square root of let's say another two plus square root of two plus two cos eight x and we have to kind of go by half of eight is four half of four is two and half of two is x right so that is the strategy which can help us solve this particular question so i hope you recall what is cos 2x so cos 2x is 2 cos square x minus 1 and here we have something called 1 plus cos 2x and that could be written as half of this angle as twice cos square x do you see that so this is what we are going to use a couple of times so if it is 8 that means 4 times right so we could say 1 plus cos 8x could be equals to 2 cos square how much half of 8 which is 4x right so that is the strategy so we can say that the left side is equal to this and now we will just uh, factor 2 from here we get 2 plus uh, 2 plus we'll factor 2 we get 1 plus cos 8x do you see that now 1 plus cos 8x is 2 cos square 4x we'll replace that so what we have here is 2 plus 2 plus square root of uh, 2 times 1 plus cos 8x is 2 cos square 4x cos square 4x does make sense to you so it's direct application of the formula, double angle formula for cosine. Now clearly, uh, we could write this as 2 plus square root of 2 plus. Now 2 times 2 is 4. So we get 4 cos square 4x. Square root of cos square 4x should be cos 4x and square root of 4 is 2. So we could write this as square root of. 2 plus square root of it looks scary but it's not that difficult so it is cos 4x do you see that now again we'll apply the same formula correct so we could say 1 plus cos 4x should be equal to twice cos square 2x right after taking 2 2 as common factor so we'll say we'll say kind of like this 2 plus square root of We'll take 2 as a common factor, 1 plus cos 4x. Uh, let me do it on the right side. Need some room. So the left hand side for us is equal to square root of 2 plus square root of 2 times 1 plus cos 4x is 2 cos square 2x is 2 cos square 2x and clearly that could be written as square root of 2 to 4 is 2 and square root of cos square 2x is cos 2x we'll take 2 common okay we get 1 plus cos 2x square root which is square root of 2 and that is that is 2 cos square x And that gives you 2 cos x, perfect, which is the right side. So that is how you would actually prove this particular identity. So it's kind of applying the same double angle formula for cosine a couple of times to get the result. So it may look scary, but ultimately you get it. I hope with this we have done some examples and got some understanding of uh, double angle and half angle formulas. Now I'll take up three or four test questions based on part one and part two. That will give you a good time to review what you've learned in these two sections. I'm Anil Kumar. Feel free to share your views and comments. And if you like and subscribe, that'll be better. Thank you and all the best.